So DJI came out with a new firmware update today, and it addresses a couple issues that some people have been having, including myself. Um, when it's cold out, the gimbal can shake a little bit. This may fix that issue, so it'll be interesting to find out if it does. And also, I think they did some tweaks to the um, cinematic mode. So let me show you how to do an update, and I'm going to use the DJI GO 4 app, and uh, let's do it from the Android phone. I have um, airplane mode on and only have the Wi-Fi on so you can download it. So let's give it a shot and uh, show you how to update your firmware. Okay, so here's what you need to do the firmware update. You need your drone, of course. You need a freshly charged battery and you're gonna have to update the firmware on all the batteries and I'll show you how. So take your freshly charged battery and then uh, plug it in the drone. And then also make sure your remote control is fully charged. And I would, I would make sure you have at least 75% charge on your phone as well. I'm gonna use the USB port right here. Put my phone inside. Another good suggestion is um, take the props off. I heard, I heard a story online. Someone said that they're, during the update, their drone started to, uh, <laughs> started to take off, so. Eh, better safe than sorry. Just go ahead and take the props off. That way it won't fly up or something right in the middle of uh, doing the update. So what I like to do is I like to have the phone on when I'm doing the update. I'm sorry. I like to have the phone on when I connect the app. If I don't, what happens is sometimes it won't, uh, it won't connect. So I have to have the um, phone unlocked and open and have it ready, but I don't open the DJI Go 4 app. What I do is I turn on the remote first. So let me start the screen recorder. Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna turn the remote on. And I'm gonna wait for it to prompt me to open the app. And then I'm gonna select the DJI Go 4 app from the list. Like so. I wanna turn on the drone. Now, if you give it a moment, it should tell you there's an update available. And it does, firmware upgrade for uh, 1.03200. So I'm gonna click on that. It's 147 megabytes. Ensure the aircraft is above 50% and the aircraft is connected to the remote controller before upgrading. Upgrading takes approximately 15 minutes. Do not power off. Improve gimbal performance while before flying in low temperatures. Added cinematic mode for smoother uh, smoother the footage. Added cinematic mode for smoother the footage. That's an interesting English they used. That was a funny translation. So now it's uh, downloading the firmware. And 147 megabytes um, could take some time depending on your internet connection. And I have it face this way so you can see what the light's doing. Um, it's kind of a orangish looking light and there's two red lights on the front. I'm not sure how well that comes across um, on the camera, but it's kind of an orangish looking light. It says updating 5%. Now some people's reported that it's crashing at about 73% or, or stalling at 73%, but I think most of the people complaining about that were iPhone users, so I'm not sure what's up with that. If you have problems with using the phone, you may need to um, download and use DJI Assistant 2 and use DJI Assistant 2 to upgrade the firmware. Um, you may have better luck using that. I've always used the app and I have never had a problem. I did have it hang up once on me at 99% and I exited the app and went back in and then it said it was complete. So um, it doesn't appear you can brick these very easily. It always seems like um, they're, they're pretty dependable when it comes to that. So I don't think you have to worry about that. If it stalls and it stays there for a while, don't just wait till the battery drains down. If it doesn't look like it's doing anything, just go ahead and turn it off and, and restart it and it should be fine. 31%. Now at the magic 73% where people were um, saying that it was failing and getting stuck on 73. So hopefully we get past this. 
Uh, it's amber flashing on the back, two red flashing on the front of the drone. All four battery lights are on. The whole drone is uh, reinitializing at 97%. Controller just vibrated it twice, asking me to open the app again. But the app's already open. It says 98%. Now this is the part where I th think I may have hanged last time, but it was at 99% though. And it asked me to open the app. Um, but now it's at 99%, so we'll see. I just ignore it when it asks me to open the app, but the app's already open. I don't hit anything. And so far, that's worked for me. Now, if it continues to stay at 99% for a long period of time, um, from what I've done before that's worked is I force close, I exit the app, and then I go back in it, and then it says it was complete. Um, sometimes it seems to hang at the very, very end. I don't know why it does this. We'll wait a little longer. You notice the screen doesn't say updating anymore or upgrading. It just says ready to go. So I believe the app is just kind of stuck. I'm going to turn off the controller. Turn off the drone. Go back in. I'm going to wait for it to prompt me to open the app. says update successful. So if it hangs up in 99%, just get out of it. It does seem to. What's new, it just tells you the same thing. Improved gimbal performance when flying in low temperatures. Added cinematic mode for smoother the footage. So hit complete. Restart your aircraft and controller, which I already did, but I'll do it again. Exit out that. So now what you do is you start upgrading the other batteries. So you take the battery out, grab another battery, put it in, turn it on, and then open the app. And you see how it says inconsistent firmware found? The aircraft firmware and firmware of the peripheral device does not match. This may cause compatibility issues. Update firmware to resolve. And now the battery update doesn't take as long. 44%, 99. Controller vibrated. Drone is reinitializing. Update successful. All right, so that was a success. If you're like me, updates probably make you a little bit nervous. Uh, I don't blame you. You can now put the props back on and take it for a flight. Um, you know, I usually like to stick low and close the first time you um, turn it back on after an update. Some people recommend uh, recalibrating the compass, the IMU, everything. Um, I don't, unless it prompts me, because I've heard, you know, bad experiences. There's two camps, you know, people say, you know, you need to update and you need to recalibrate everything every time, but I do not. Um, so use your own discretion, um, do your own research, see what's best for you. But I personally do not do any calibrations, especially IMU and Compass, because if you do it wrong, it causes a lot of problems. So if you're not having any issues and everything's working good, I don't personally recommend uh, doing those updates. So, um, Leave hate comments below if you want, but it's just my, my opinion. So do whatever works best for you. 
um, and uh, just be cautious. So, you know, fly really low, take it easy, fill it out, double check all your settings. I believe your settings, some of the settings may get reset or change. So double check your settings though and make sure everything's good, especially your return to home. Don't have your return to home altitude too low um, because uh, it can crash into something. So that's the fail safe. So always make sure your fail safe is good. So anyway, that's it. Happy droning. And uh, don't forget to like the video and subscribe so you can get uh, a notification of further drone videos and other how-to videos. All right, see you next time.